what did you guys do as soon as you hit 21? What was it for you guys? Well, he was in I, Korea drinking Bacardi 151 with his grandma. My grandma. He passed out. And then yeah. for me, I was up in New York at the time. I was going to school, and seven of my best friends flew up from Florida. And we just like, just, you know. Partied it Party. up. Made it happen. Yeah. 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 Uh, I rode a bull and a teddy bear. I threw up everywhere. And uh, I actually, what I actually did was I, I had some friends over uh, in my New York apartment. We went up to the roof, which was kind of dangerous, actually, in hindsight. But I think both of us kind of want to redo on our 21st birthday, to be honest. I had sushi and sake. But it was dangerous, because I had sushi in Kentucky. And the sake was unfiltered. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a wild night for all. Okay, well I guess a little mellower than the movie. Yeah, I know. It's so No, boring, this was right? this was our do-over. At least someone gets a do-over. <laughs> yeah, 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 this movie was our do-over. That's what That's I mean. Cool. Yeah, sorry, I don't know anything. You were like not picking it up. It's yeah. okay. Do you ever have that much pressure on you, like your dad in the movie? No. no. Or you just no. Like, my, um, parents are cool. <clears throat> my parents are cool. Um, you know, they just gave up on me, I think, in the third grade or the fourth grade because I caused so much trouble in school. So they're just happy that I'm doing something with my life. So, no. But in the movie, Francois is a scary mother effer. He was Shredder in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Okay. Yeah. So, dude, I didn't have to act. When he I takes just, it off, he reveals the scar. That's it's Francois. Francois. Like, oh my god, that was him. Yeah. yeah. Dude. 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 for you guys. He was scary, dude. You were pursuing the girl in the movie the entire time. You ever have to do that in real life? To you, pursue a girl? Yeah, to like, where you just nonstop yeah. had yeah, I read this it. article, like, women are to be chased after, and, uh... And they like it. And they like it. Um, yeah, yeah, you sure. I mean, I think, like, being, when you're single and when you're dating, like, that, that chase is very exciting. I think there's a fine line, though, between when someone's standoffish and, you know, then I don't want to try too hard. But, yeah, there's, like, that give and take of a relationship. Yeah, because I've then definitely... it gets to harassment. <laughs> right, I never let it go there. Yeah, I generally nah. don't. So how far, do you give him a chance, or are you just like, when you're done, you don't want it no more? Um, no, I for sure give him a chance. Yeah? Oh, you no, mean no. with him? <laughs> no, no, I meant overall. Like, would you give a guy who just wouldn't stop pursuing you a chance? It depends. Depends on the guy. <laughs> I mean, depends on how hot he is, right. am I right? Yeah, hey. There you go. If he has any, you know, charm to him, otherwise, no. I feel like you like a sense of humor. That's probably really I like a sense of humor. And I also, if you're pursuing me, you have to be able to, like, yeah. So a lot of guy time on set. What was your favorite moment with all the guys? With the guys? Um, I really loved our scene that we had in the bar because it was the four of us together and we kind of got to rip on each other a little bit. And uh, yeah, I know, it was great. And Jeff Chang is like the most coherent he is in the whole movie in that scene, you know what I mean? He's like True. actually like, hey, Nicole, like these are my friends. And then three minutes later, he's passed out in an alley, so. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of a nice... But Miles and I, we had a hard time because he likes Butterfingers as much as I do, so he kept trying to steal them from Crafty so that I couldn't have them anymore. I actually remember that. <laughs> Are you really 31? I'm 31, dude. How was it going back a decade for you? Man. Yo, but I just, ever since I turned 21, I've Well, he doesn't look yeah. 21 either. And, he's, and, he's and I live like a 21. He rages. Right. So it wasn't much of a, you know... No big thing, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, I like to drink brew. I don't... I'm not <laughs> too much into the wines yet. So I'm good. It was... It was not a big stretch. Awesome. So how'd you prepare for your quad scene, getting ready to go out there with just your sock? I did a lot of like thigh master stuff. <laughs> yeah, I worked on my butt because I didn't know girls were into butts. Right. Until some like chick told me that. I was like, are you serious? I had no idea. I thought it was just a guy thing that guys were into, yeah. you know, booty. You know what I mean? You never know. A little bit Everybody booty. likes some stuff. Someone's like, yeah, you know, it's yeah, nice to I grab onto. I said, okay, well, I need to start working nice. on it. Make it happen. So, what was that thing called? That's the, the best the I could thi do. The Thigh Master? Thigh Master, The yeah. Suzanne Summers? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say that. that thing that you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He can literally do a thousand of those and not get tired. Oh, that's good. You know, Never. You got all that energy. He's got strong knees. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, who's a better kisser, you or Skylar? Next question. <laughs> I am. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. I've tr I've, I know firsthand. Oh, wow. It's because you see me kissing all hot girls. No, uh, that's no, what I you meant? No, I don't. Man, we're no. working Keep a secret as yeah. well. Is that even a question that's relevant? <laughs> Are you okay. kidding me? True. Uh, yeah. We did, we did two takes of that kiss. 
And we did as many takes as possible <laughs> with the other one. So that should answer it for you.